Hello and welcome to season three of Meet the Drapers, Brand Accelerator. Every week, three entrepreneurs pitch their startups to the Drapers and a VIP guest judge. Every episode, the judges declare a winner to move on to the semifinals. And the winner is... But here's the twist. You, the viewer, can invest in any and all of these startups. Like a company? Go to meetthedrapers.com and invest in their live crowdfunding campaign. And you can bring them back for the season finale. The crowd is voting in three of our finalists. This is your shot to invest like a venture capitalist. Let's bring on the next contestant. And before we do, let's see what's going on behind the scenes. Hello, everyone. We are Sparkle Innovations. We are trying to make this world a better place with less plastic pollution, with more sustainable products while supporting circular economy. We are the first company in the world to use the combination of banana fiber, bamboo fiber, and cornstarch to make a biodegradable, plastic-free, and chemical-free sanitary pads. For being selected for the show, and that means a lot for us. And now being selected for semi-finalists, it is completely unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle! Oh, <wow>. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's amazing because we worked so hard to develop this product and uh, you know the customers, we know they're going to love it because uh, sustainability is the future and uh, uh, knowing today's generation, uh, I know they love to do their part to uh, when it comes to uh, uh, making this planet a plastic free planet. So I really hope they love it and I, I know they, live, they will love it. So welcome back. Well, we're going to hear again from Sparkle, another one of our semi-finalists. Sparkle, welcome back. Thank you. Now, please tell us why Sparkle should be in the finals and why the viewers right. should be funding your crowdfund. Sure. I would like to start with, we worked very hard to develop a product that we know our customers will love because we believe sustainability is the future, especially when you make sustainability affordable. So today's young generation, they, are, they absolutely love to do their best to make this planet a plastic-free planet. I would like to share my personal story that I had problem of rashes and uh, irritations while I was using conventional plastic pads. And when I shared this story with my friends, I was really surprised to know that they also had similar problems. And after that, I started looking for natural alternatives. Uh, but uh, the eco-friendly pads available in the market, they were very expensive. So with Sparkle, we aim to make natural pads affordable for everyone. So with our now that's, that's one of the points I really want to get at, and that is your pricing. It was a little fuzzy when I asked you about pricing before, and that's probably because you don't have your costs yet, right? Yeah. You haven't really figured out your costs? We have. I think you've got to nail those. I think you've got to make sure that you are, because if all the other ones that are biodegradable are too expensive, mm -hmm. it might be that yours have to be too expensive yeah. too. So uh, maybe there's something you're doing that makes it cheaper, but you know maybe not. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll break it down. Okay. To cost. So uh, conventional pads available in the market, the plastic pads that uh, contain up to 90% plastic, they start at 15 cents per piece in the USA. In India, it's about 10 rupees per piece because we are t targeting both the markets. It's about 10 rupees is this is the market. It is the market. Yeah. And so what are you expecting to sell yours for? So we are the so we have two product range. So the first one is uh, with individual disposal bag and uh, a premium packaging such as this. So this uh, would go at 20 rupees per piece, which goes between 10 rupees and the eco-friendly pads that are being sold at 30 rupees per piece. If you sell it for 20 rupees, how much are you making them for? Uh, uh, our cost with uh, the packaging and the pad is uh, around 60% off. So we make 40% margin on each piece. And, and you're sure on those on those cost numbers? Uh, as or? realistic as we can get uh, from uh, the data we have so far. Okay. And this would actually be better because this is only at minimum production level. Mm -hmm. Once we ramp up the production, it, these numbers will actually become better. So these are conservative measures that we have put right now. So Chirag and Hethal, yes. yes. uh, thank you for being here. I think you're doing a great job. Thank you. Uh, in terms of solving a problem. Yes, thank so you. So once you've got this in a stage where you're ready to market it, mm -hmm. all right, uh, obviously, Sparkle seems to be a sparkling name. Thank you. So obviously, you're going to try and build your brand. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to 
understand a little bit better in terms of what's the demographic specifically in India that you're targeting? Actually, just this month, as soon as we go back is when we're going to have our D2C model ready for launch so people will be able to order it online. So with direct-to-consumer model, uh, uh, we're targeting 20 to 30s young, uh, especially millennials as well, because they are more aware, more eco-conscious. And in the metro cities, actually, uh, there are many startups that are focusing on eco-friendly products, uh, consumer goods and everything. So our first target would be eco-conscious uh, consumers in their 20s and 30s. Uh, to reach even more people in the offline retail space, we have actually outlined 50 offline stores in four metro cities. They uh, supply uh, uh, similar eco-friendly organic products. So that is where actually customers go to see what new uh, alternatives they have available. There, we have to uh, shrink a little margin because we have to give them 10%. But uh, just to get the brand out there, just to get the name out there, get some visibility, that is the second approach that we are also considering. Okay, somehow you made her the president. What was the thinking there? You found it, you started it. I started you it. You made her the president. What were you thinking? I mean, she's very good with numbers. Uh, she's a chartered accountant. Yeah. I'm good with the machines, so she is good when it comes to operations. And uh, she she knows. I mean, she. In of the course, the face she, of menstrual pads should be a woman, not a man. Right. Thank you <laughs> for, for say. saying it out. Right. Yeah. Why did you yeah. that? Yeah. And we, um, we 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 both believe in gender equality, right? So. Yeah. But this is an equality. This is inequality. You're yeah, saying the woman should run it because it's that. No, no. It's a See, I, yeah. First yeah. point exactly. is first point is because she's very good with numbers. I'm yes. good with words. Okay. Which is why I'm doing yeah. a lot of talk. Okay. <laughs> second I mean, yeah. second thing. Okay, you're now the president. You're the CEO of the business. Yeah. If it's not working out with him, what do you do? You fire him? Uh, I have an option. No. <laughs> but I oh, won't no. do this. No, no, I would it's never okay. do this. Actually, Tim's question probably is that if ever yeah. you think that you have to fire him, yeah. would you as the CEO of the company ever fire him if you got someone else to do a better job? Or maybe he steps back. I think <laughs> that's the challenging question. I think you should answer I, that. I would never do that. Okay. And what about you? If, if somehow the board said, um, you're now the CEO, mm -hmm. would, would you be willing to take that role first? Answer that. Mm -hmm. Quick yes or no, would you be willing to take the role away from your wife? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting us in a position where we're not really prepared. But anyways, uh, if it's better for the company and if, if uh, she's okay with it, I, I would say yes. <laughs> if she's okay with it. <laughs> yes. And what if you had to fire her? See, uh, at this point, we are focusing on both yes. our strengths. We're not thinking about the negative scenarios. Yes. We're focusing on what we're good at, and we're both passionate about what we do. Yes. So if we just focus on the negative, I don't think we would have even started the company. Yes. So, good answer. Good answer. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Good. Yeah. good. Okay, good. well, good, good to awesome. hear. Yeah. Uh, okay, you, you've got 10 seconds to look at that camera and tell the viewers why they should back you in crowdfunding. Sure. So with your support, we can help uh, more women reach their full potential at school. We can provide uh, biodegradable pads to a large number of women. We can help more farmers earn extra income. We can reduce plastic pollution, agro waste, and plastic pad waste. So please support us. Yes. Great. All right. Thank you. Great. Great. Thank, you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you very much. Terrific. Thank you. Welcome <laughs> to Meet the Drapers. Good job. I think the pitch went well, but uh, uh, there were uh, many tricky questions. I mean, it's... Yes, uh, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> One of the things we wanted to say that we want to be a company that focuses on growth as well as giving back. So that was a point that I could have emphasized more. So um, uh, that's just one thing I wanted to uh, to say as well. Oh, it's amazing. I hope we will come again for as yeah, a Yeah, I, I, think, I think we did well. We gave it our best shot and uh, now it's up to the judges and, and the viewers. So um, I, I hope for the best. So what did everybody think of Sparkle? I think they really <laughs> showed some sparkle. Yeah. Uh, I, I, good team, good uh, relationship they have. Uh, they've thought the product through. And uh, I think they're, uh, they'd be a good bet. The key thing is that uh, it's a good team. I think they're solving a major pain point. Uh, and that's why my question on demographics as to who they're going to target is going to be critical. And obviously, you know, the price advantage that they have if they were to find a way to get to the U.S., which he seems to have thought through because he said, if I have to do U.S., I wouldn't just 
imported, I would have a manufacturing plant. Yeah, overall, I thought I I was um, I liked them better the second time. Mm -hmm. uh, I I didn't like watching him sort of squirm when I asked the question, well, what, would you fire her? It was like, no, we haven't prepared for this. <laughs> I mean, you're an entrepreneur. You got to be prepared for whatever. But then, he, but then he came back with the best answer. He said, we don't. We don't you know, think we don't of the think downside. Of the negative yeah. things yeah, right I, now, I like that or we answer. never ever would have gotten into this that in the was first a place. Great answer. Yeah, great it was a good answer. answer. Yeah. Why, you know, why when we're so inspired together would we think of that? Maybe down the line when things are, you know. Well, that's the huge. point. That's the point. Yeah, but then you then, want them to start thinking about things like that because it isn't very far down the line when two entrepreneurs start. Hitting heads. Yeah, I think the biggest threat, the threat, if you, if and if I they're were, married, oh boy, it's tough. <laughs> if I were to invest in this, I would worry most about the fact that I'm up against tamp, whatever the other tampons, oh, yeah, yeah. Kotex. and uh, in America and that would be other, your in best. America would be tough, but in India. They probably have some brands that they're, yeah. I don't know the market. They sound like in India that's a real dearth. Yeah. Like there are a lot girls of women aren't don't, even, to, use don't it. even going to school because they're embarrassed to leave the house. Cause that's right. Them. So it sounds like it, it, in India is where it would really that's take fire. So now we've got to choose who goes on to the finals. Now. The viewers, you viewers, you get to choose who goes on to the finals too. You, you're gonna choose three and we're gonna choose three and we're gonna have finals with six of these uh, great entrepreneurs. I think that's about the number. We might make it five, we might make it seven, but uh, the viewers are gonna be able to choose two.